Alleluia. Amen. Ok, now I want to talk about a pure faith. Tell your neighbor, a pure faith. 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 Go with me to Hebrews chapter 11 verse. We are going to read verse 6 and 11. After this message, you are going to start operating so much in the supernatural. <laughs> supernatural. Hebrews 11, 6 says, Without faith it is impossible to please God, for whoever comes to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. When we come to God, we must believe that He is. That He is God. Are you with me? When you believe that He is God, then you know that He can do what man cannot do. He can say what man cannot say. Whoever comes to God must believe that he is. Whoever comes to God must believe that he is. But we don't just stop at believing that he is. We are going to look at Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. We believe that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. So, basically, when you come to God, you must believe that He responds. That when you ask, He answers. When you seek, you find. I was telling you last Sunday that in this place, the Bible says there shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the children of Israel shall possess their possession. This is a place of possessing. We don't want to be a church where people are endlessly asking we don't want to put there a plaque, a, a banner. Uh, welcome to the place where they ask. Let me reach there, the usher says, Ah, you're very welcome to the place where we ask. Here we ask. That brother has been asking for five years. He has been asking for another seven years. And for you, it will be for ten years. I tell you, if you're like that, people will come and don't come back. The Bible says, whoever asks receives. Whoever seeks finds. Whoever knocks, the door will be opened. We want to have a book here, Pastor David. Where we record that. Sister so and so asked for a husband on this day. Her prayer was answered on this day. We went for her giveaway on this day. We attended her wedding on this day. She delivered on this day after <laughs> the are you with me? Hey, we don't want to like say uh she waited on 25th September. She delivered on 25th November. <laughs> hey, the baby was dedicated on 25th December. <laughs> we want the timing to be proper. Because 
in his time God makes things beautiful. God doesn't give privileges. Hey. Are you with me? Here we ask and we receive. Whoever comes to God must believe that he is a rewarder. Within you there must be a faith. God will reward me for seeking him. God will answer me. I don't serve him in vain. The Bible says we do not serve God in vain. Exodus 23 says, Exodus 23, verse 25, it says, when they serve me, I shall bless their bread and water. I shall take sickness out of their midst. And none shall be barren among them. This is why I try to encourage you to serve God. I tell you, serving God saved me from COVID. I know what I'm talking about. I went to church to pray and as I was praying God told me I kept praying that scripture in Exodus 23 she shall serve the Lord she shall bless my bread and water we were in the minister's class I was still at Holy Spirit Fire Church. We are called to pray. And we are praying as ministers. I kept praying for every minister in the church. As we serve the Lord, we shall bless our bread and water. We shall take sickness out of our midst. A few days after that, it's my wife who got the flu first. <laughs> I tell you, that time, I had to make a decision. Because I knew and how it spreads. I knew that if I go to the bedroom or to the bed, I'm going to catch the thing. Should I sleep in the sea? Then I remember that was going on in my head. Then I remember I made a vow for better or for worse. I said, I am going to the bed. Now I remember that God is going to give me a new bed. If she has it, we shall have it together. You should have said, hey, Everything that they talk about, and sometimes I think for us scientists, you see even the sim, you magnify it in your head. Like you see a shiver, you say, ah, uh -huh. you see, then you also start feeling it. Started also feeling dizzy. <laughs> then I got a headache. And then, you know, in that time, that's when messages were flying around. Eh? You'd wake up in the morning with a rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> then, that's a, uh, then when you are like recovering, somebody puts a message that so and so was recovering, then they went back. But my friend, I kept saying, Lord, when we serve you, you bless our bread and water. You take sickness out of our ministry. That scripture means that it can be in the lands, but he can take it out of the lands. A sickness can be in your kidney and he goes in the kidney and plucks it out of the kidney. He says, I will take sickness out of your ministry. I spoke it, I spoke it, I spoke it. Nachikamba, Nachikamba, Nachikamba. The other day I was meditating, I was passing here at the district. I remembered when we came to take that test. That test was bad. 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 
Anyway, we prayed, we prayed. Then there was now the waiting for the results. There was a guy who used to do the, the COVID. He was like a celebrity. Catching him on the phone. We waited for that result. But we had the symptoms and what. But we were actively getting it out of the lungs. Actively getting it out of the lungs. The result came out. The result came out. We the thing out of our midst. It is a good thing to serve God. When you serve God, you have heavenly surveillance. David said in Psalms 20, verse 6. I don't know how I'm talking about ministry today. Psalms 20, verse 6. David said, Now I know. The Lord saves His anointing. Now I know. When you are His anointed, and you have been driven in a bus by a driver who usually does it, that night he is awake the whole night. Or you can drive a bus, say you are a driver, you can drive a bus. 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 Because God has to save His anointed. Ah, kubaro hanga aine budi no mehere zawe. Yo. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a good thing to serve the Lord. Let's eat chiro njoko mehere zama kama. Whoever comes to Him must believe that He is a reward. When I come aine budi chiro zangu no hanga. Now verse 11 says Because of faith Sarah received power to conceive a child Even when she was long past the age for it Sarah received power to conceive a child By faith She defied science by faith she overcame natural laws it doesn't happen when you have reached this age it doesn't happen when we have gone beyond this age it doesn't happen by faith she received power to conceive a child. Her uterus was sudden. I believe that faith gave her a uterus for the 20-year-old. You know, faith can give you bones of the 15-year-old. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a woman of faith. She's now gone to glory. Uh, you know, she used to have diabetes. And then believed God. God gave her a new pancreas. pancreas. She was an alcoholic. Her liver, God destroyed, she believed God, God gave her a new liver. At some point she had a heart problem. God gave her a new heart. She used to testify. I'm 70. But my liver is 50. My pancreas is 30. But my pancreas is 30. I tell you. I tell you. This thing called faith. We read the scripture yesterday. I'm going to say it for the sake of those who are not here. Yesterday. Matthew 19, 26. Jesus looked at them and said, With men this is impossible. But with God, are possible. Now, you need to believe that. With God, all things are possible. Now, all things, ladies and gentlemen, is all things. Isn't it possible? Possible. What happened last night? 
I didn't go yet. I've been talking the whole of two weeks. Two weeks she has been coughing. Those of you who are here yesterday remember me praying for her. She would be okay during the day, but at night she's coughing and controlling. Yesterday she had an encounter. And she was healed from that one day. Yeah. And I was telling her that she was healed from that one day. Yeah. And I was telling her that she was healed from that one day. Yeah. Our sister Annette got her kidney. Re realigned. Uh, she had pain. The pain had been for how long? Three months. 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 Those of you who are remember, we put it back in place. Now people go to India to study that kind of scientific. <laughs> it happened here on this ground of, of, of whatever. Of, uh, this, uh, we call it a red, red floor. <laughs> this red or brown? Brown floor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, uh, of course, me, I left the tent long ago. I'm still there. But I'm still there. You see this kind of body. Yeah, the other side of the structure. Mm, the glass structure. Okay. Then I will take you there. Mm. You're joining me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So for. So we untwisted it and the pain left. Now, Jesus said, with men this is impossible, yes, but with God all things are possible. Now, none of you are comfortable with that. Because God is God. It is easy to believe that. With God all things are possible. But Mark chapter 9 verse 23 9 23 says of Mark Jesus said to him yes, If you can believe All things are possible to him Now it is not talking about God It is talking about you in Matthew 19, it is God with whom all things are possible. In Mark 9, it says, even you, you can come to the place where all things are possible. Wow. Wow. Ah, I, I wish you knew what I'm talking about. When you believe, I have had those moments when I believe. <laughs> and I have, I know that I believe. You know there is when you think you believe and you don't believe. You just, you're trying to convince your mind to believe. But faith is not of the mind. Faith is in the heart. Now you see the Bible says with the heart a man believes. Bible says with the heart a man believes. Bible says with the heart a man believes. Faith happens in the heart. And this is the good news actually. Because faith is in the heart. I don't have to figure it to believe. <laughs> I don't have to understand it to believe it. I don't have to understand it to believe it. Now, how do I believe that? A, 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 in my head that a surgery can happen when somebody is standing and Hati. we are laying hands and I say we untwist the kidney in the name of Jesus how do you know it in my head I remember, remember that woman at healing station who had had an accident when Museven came to power Accident. So she had that pain in the back. Twenty-six. Obsa so mugo. Man has been in power for all of. So for as long as the man has been in power. Akabayo. 
officers that's why I never, seven I never forget her story because she has been having pain as long as Jaja has been, you know, president. <laughs> when I was praying for her, Faith came upon me, and I believed. And we say that bone which got a problem will make it right. For the first time in all those years, she was paying faith. Now, this was after so many, you know, doctors and surgeries and what. Now, what had been impossible with men became possible with it was always possible with God it was always possible with God but it needed for me to believe so that it was now possible with me uh, you are getting it it's always possible with God he always wants you he's always waiting for you to come up to the place where you also believe that it is possible then it shall also be possible with you because with him it's always possible but it is with us it is with us where the challenge is because you remember as they were praying for him, he breathed his last. And then the priest said, God has loved him more than us. God takes all those he loves. God works in mysterious ways. We may never understand how he's in a better place. Then that became a doctrine in your head. You stopped believing that certain things are possible. You started blaming God. By the time I was there, I knew, I knew a doctor. He had killed, literally killed himself. Because he was addicted to a drug called Pestidine. So, he sat in the toilet and was injecting himself the drugs until he got a heart attack and died. We arrived at his home with another doctor. We knew what had happened. We found a man in the sitting room. He was busy telling the people. You know the program of God, you can never understand it. When you were time reaches, it has come. Or when you are time reaches, it has come. He killed himself. We must stop blaming God for the things we don't understand. He has taken him, he has worked. For me, when I come, I tell them, there's a, a friend of mine who had lost their three-year-old. When we came to Bari, I told him the truth. I said that there's something we didn't do well. The problem is not God. It is not God who God, God, God can't give you a child. Eh? And that, that he loves you so much. That he, he's trying to teach you patience. Before his glory, he takes your three year old. Yes, the Bible says, with long life, I will satisfy you. So I said, you know, some we are in a battle. We are in a war. We lose some battles. But ultimately we shall win the war. This battle we have lost it. We will give you another child. I don't know what we didn't do well. What, what you know, that is comforting. If it was up to God, not up to us, we would have been killed. up to God, not up to us, to decide. 
Then when you are praying, you would not be sure. Let me pray, but just in case God has decided to take her. You see how prayer would be hard? Whatever you're praying for, you're not sure. God might say yes or no. But you know the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. But the Jesus we preached was not yes and no. In him it is always a yes. Or no. Now you, know, you stand there. I want you to push this podium as hard as you can towards my side. Nyenda osindike ekitute eti side yange. Ana mane mingi munonga. No la kuku ya zamani. You see how he is overpowering me. Now this is what happens. Ate chinto chikuba. I believe but there is unbelief. I'm trying to move a mountain this way. So I'm trying to believe but there is unbelief there. So the unbelief is opposing my belief. If the unbelief is more, it overpowers me. No, kusimbura. So like, but I was believing what happened. Let me tell you what happened. You were praying in faith. Then from the, from the prayer meeting, then you are conversing with your friends. Your now the God of today is hard. Now this kind of today is just gambling. You don't just get Ugandan currency. Or when you are there saying, you shall supply all my needs according to your riches in government. That is Lord, I believe. Then you come out. These are so bad. I don't know where money will come. Mm. And, and you know, when the financial is starting, even salary is sometimes delayed. Even. Mm. You are believing, but the unbelief is overcoming. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all you are. And lean not on your heart. The faith is here. The unbelief is here. Are you getting me? I believe with my heart. But as a doctor, me now, let me talk about me. I believe in my heart that God can heal. And when I am praying for somebody, my 
my mind tells me. I quick I I I I am transported back into class. Let me give you a flash of what happens in my head. Oh, you, already, you already see me in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. You close your eyes like this. Sometimes I just have to keep my eyes open. You close your eyes like this. You go in the tutorial room. And the professor is saying, Can professor you not jail? This kind of condition, when you have it, when you know it has a five year survival rate. You can't go beyond five years. Somebody has come for the healing station. They have traveled all the way. Come for the healing station. They have traveled all the way. They have traveled all the way. They are hanging onto your face. You have a big decision whether to lean on your understanding or to believe. Are you with me? Are you with me? Oh. You are trying to believe God. But there is something they told you. Maybe an uncle told you. If I made it to the degree, I am looking for It is impossible and difficult to graduate. You are there trying to believe God. And then when you come back, Give me that chair. I want to show you something that happened. Some of you can be there in your house. And you start attending a conference without realizing. James the Great Family. You in your house. We have not taken it. And he failed. Even the other cousin, things failed. You are in your house. Or you are like you are preaching to yourself. You are now in this conference called uh, the Understanding Conference. <laughs> That's why we are people saying, let us, we need to be realistic. We need to be realistic. <laughs> and then you talk about those things of God. You have to be wise. You don't have to those things of God. You have to be wise. We have to be wise. We are giving one million for the church. But you know how many one million for the church. And the pastor will get a fuel in his car, and you lack food. Come on, 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 Enter into that conference. Forget about the supernatural. You will start seeing things which are fruits of your understanding. You will start operating at the level of your understanding. But children of God, God is giving us an invitation to rise higher. To rise higher. To rise higher. You can choose to side with God. The other door, of course, which brings unbelief, is the door of ignorance. Ignorance is an epidemic in the church. People don't read the Bible, Pastor David. Somebody can be there and say, Lord, I ask you to, to, to heal me. There is that other verse that the pastor was preaching about. I don't remember the verse, but in the name of in, on that verse, Lord, heal me, Lord. Can you imagine going to the battle? 
I'm shooting you with the bullets which the other guy had. I'm shooting you with the bullets which the other guy had. I'm shooting you with the bullets which the other guy had. I'm shooting you with the bullets which the other guy had. I'm shooting you with the bullets which the other guy had. I'm shooting you with the are you getting, is it becoming too hard today? The Bible says in Hosea 4 6. Bible of Hosea 4 6. My people are not perished for what? Lack of knowledge. 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 Lack of it is God saying that that my people perish for lack of knowledge. That my ignorance makes him unable to save me. God is saying my people is seeing people perishing. And he's limited by their ignorance. He could save me, but I'm daft. Na baza kunchiza kongati chumanya chini. I'm a guest. I'm a guest. Thank you. Thank you. Ignorance. Obuta manya. Ignorance about what? Obuta manya harichi. Ignorance about what God has said. Obuta manya echiro hange chaga ambele. Ignorance about what? Obuta manya chi. Ignorance about what God has promised. Obuta manya echiro hange chaga kura gani isi. You be there say. I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless. But we never must go. Yet the Bible says, I alone know the plans I have. Can be born naked. No one can even imagine what they can do. God will prosper you, not to bring you disaster. And God will run to get out of your way. Plans to give you a future and a hope. And they can take over your life. Whenever I hear people say, "Yeah, yeah," I'm not saying those things of prosperity. Prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. They are just displaying a high level of ignorance. But you know. Because the Bible says God delights in the prosperity. The tournament 28 it says He will bless us with a surplus of prosperity. People need to go and do more. Of the tournament 28. But He will bless us with a surplus. So, Pastor David, there is being prosperous. And there is when prosperity is the surplus. God is inviting us higher. When you understand this, you stop apologizing for being rich. But you fear to give them. But they think about me. 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 They think you know that the nature of God is that God is not like us. For you when you're powering in a cup, you're conscious of the level. But God is powering in a cup. When it runs over, he keeps powering. That's why David said, My cup runs over. He can give you the first cup and the second cup, then he gives the cup for the children. He gives the cup for going to the garden. He gives the cup for going to the garden. He gives the cup for the that is different from the kind of going to be hard way. You have a car when they have called you for a consultancy. I tell you, my friend is a consultant. He went to they were giving him a consultancy. After the interview, 
Someone exports you to the parking lot. <laughs> See the car you came in. Because the car you came in will say whether you want the, the consultants or not. You don't say you want a you want a deal over a phone of five hundred million and after you are jumping like this one. You give them the five hundred million. <laughs> Can you handle one billion? No, but no, 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 Ignorance of what belongs to us. Of the manya, every hundred yard, take a decade. Ignorance of who we are. Of the manya, Chipuri. This is only have ignorance of who you are. I hope what I could manya and nature. Sometimes you hear somebody praying for more than a and the prayer is a display of a high level of ignorance. And a shara yakbana shaba, a very shara yokta manyam nonga. Lord, we have come before you today. We are not even worthy to be here. We are not even to be here. To 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 share mere kuzana hori. I don't know whether I even have time to listen to my friend. Ndiyo kumanya kola basi no kurebi ndiyo ni ngamba. But God, if you are if you are in heaven there, kwaonga hanga. Where will you be grow? Every line is an ignorant line. Buri paragraph ya kola na buta manya. Say, <laughs> Lord, Mokama. The Bible says, God made him who knew no sin. So that in him, we may become the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. You know, let me tell you, me. I, uh, it might be too much for you, but let me tell you what I believe. I believe. I am not a sinner saved by God. People say, we are all sin and saved by grace. I was a sinner. I was a sinner. I was a saint. I was a saint. I can't be a sinner and a saint at the same time. That is double personality. Okay, no cupid, okay, no pay it. 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 Okay, no I know some of you don't believe. How many mamas do not teach and they pray for? You go and read Paul's letters. They are written to the saints. The saints are wrong. The saints are Ephesus. About prayer of our own. About prayer of Ephesus. About prayer of our Now they are saints at Kamkuzi. Saints at Kamkuzi. Saints at Kamkuzi. I am the saint. Now when you are prayer, Saint Timothy. You are prayer, Timothy. Let me tell you. What I tell you is that. I'm just a saint who has lied. I know I'm delivering somebody. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Let me tell you, there are people who live their lives. You know, have you heard those things of if I sleep? Let me, let me deliver somebody today. If, I, if it so happened that I got an accident or I slept before I repent, I will go to hell. Chabaho, mkajira accident, ninga, mkabiyama, mtetisize, mkatuwala yokafa, nazake hena. What happens when you get a coma and you no longer have a chance to repent? Hati na hawa hochi, wazo mkoma, wakabota kubasa kwenye. I tell you, God made arrangements. Rohanga wakata wende kate. God made arrangements. Rohanga kata wende kate. That as far as he is concerned. Mungu wengu kuchumu kuiseo. We are the righteousness of God. We are being sanctified into who we are. I tell you the truth. This is the good news of the gospel. That God forgave our sins, past, present, and future. Somebody said, How can He forgive? 
forgive my future sins. When you were born, the day you were born, the sins were in your future. Hey! Hey, I didn't forget. He had forgiven them already. That is the good news of the gospel. Amen. People think when we preach like this, we are telling people to see. No. No, 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 no. When you understand this, Romans chapter 11 is talking about this. Then Romans 12 says, Brethren, mm. in view of God's mercy, mm. I urge you to offer yourselves mm. as living sacrifices, mm. holy and pleasing to God. Therefore, you understand what God has done for you. The more you offer yourself, the grace of God does not cause us to see. It teaches us to say no. Are you getting this? You are the righteousness of God. Don't be that you are always walking like. Have I said, have I, have I, oh Lord, forgive me. What happens when you forget to repent? And then there is, today I'm delivering something. There is also the concept of big sin, small sin. If they call me with a girl now, I'll be the newspapers all over. Look at what the pastor has done. But as far as God is concerned, my sin is the same as the guy who was supposed to be driving at 7 day. And they are driving at 7 day too. They are disobeying the authorities. They are disobeying the authorities. So if it wasn't for the grace of God, who would stand? No higher Sometimes you sin by what you have done or what you have not done. <laughs> <laughs> None of you have been sinning. We tell people, who come for minister's class, you don't come. You see? Because God has brought you to a minister's class. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know you sin? You beat your kids. Some of you beat your kids more than you should beat them. The Bible says, do not provoke your children to wrath. Can you imagine? So when you provoke your child to wrath, you have sinned. Have you ever repented of that? <laughs> you need to come to the place where you appreciate the grace of God. Know who you are. Know whose you are. Know who you belong to. That you are a child of God. Whatever is his is mine. People perish for lack of knowledge. Ignorance of what we carry. Do you know some prayers, Pastor David? Lord be with me. 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 The Bible says, in him we live and move. That our God is the temples of the Holy Spirit. So the temple of the Holy Spirit is staying in the Holy Spirit. Spirit be with me, Spirit. Do you know some people? Unbelief today, I'm dealing with unbelief. The right prayer that I'm learning to pray. 
Lord, I thank you that you are with me. I'm asking you to be manifest. I know you are with me. But show yourself. Oh, but I'm preaching well today. Yes. The guy said, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. As you are listening to this sermon, God is helping your what? Because when unbelief is out of the David come. Go back there. So you see, push with all the, you see how unbelief is overcoming my faith? Now you get out of it. You when unbelief comes out of the way, yes. faith starts to easily move the mountains. So ladies and gentlemen, your problem is not a faith problem. It's an unbelief problem. It's an unbelief problem. The faith you have. The problem is here. Because there is also wrong traditions that also opens the door for unbelief. The blessing is not just knowing things. The blessing is in doing the things that you know. I can get it out of the way. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Are you blessed today? David, are you blessed? David, are you Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the whole counsel of God. Amen. Overcome the ignorance. Overcome the unbelief. <laughs> the last, the last door for unbelief. Is being carnal. Being carnal. No, many people think that being carnal is fornicating. Uh, that, 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 that is just side A. Side B. Side A Being carnal is just being natural. No You know how people like to say, I'm just human. I'm only human. You know what that means? That you live by what you see. What you feel. What you hear. If you haven't seen it, it is not real. That is being coming. Okay. For us who are saved, we live by faith, not by sight. So to overcome unbelief, you must learn that some things are very real, but you can't see them. You don't have to first see it to know that it is there. God moves in the spirit. God is spirit. And those who worship him, worship him in spirit. Has any of you seen God today? Have you seen God in this church? But don't you know he's here? He's here, very here. But some of us are Something like that. Some people are waiting to see him with their eyes. He's already here. When you pray, believe that he has moved. Whether you have seen it or not, believe that he has answered. When Daniel was praying in chapter 10, Daniel he was praying for 21 days. When the angel came on the 24th day, the angel said, From the moment you start 
wanted to pray. Your prayer was heard. And I was sent with an answer. But the priest of Pasha was fighting me. His answer was coming. With an angel, but there was a war. Sometimes when you pray and things haven't manifested yet, it's not that God hasn't moved. There is a war going on. For you to just keep believing, and the war going on will be won. Amen. I want you to pray for one minute. Now. I want you to pray the prayer that man prayed. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. You know the areas where there is unbelief. You know the different areas. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to help you. Maybe it is ignorance. Maybe it is uh, tradition. Maybe it is wrong teaching. Lord, help me. I tell you, it's a good prayer to pray. If it wasn't a good prayer, the Holy Spirit would not have had it written in the Bible. I have my unbelief. I believe you can heal diabetes. I know many people who have died. Help my unbelief. I believe you can heal HIV. I know many people who have died. Help my unbelief. I know that uh, I believe that I can get a child. But I'm beyond the age of childbearing. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Ah, I want to hear you pray, child of God. We know that God helped that man. But shortly after his boy was delivered. Shortly after his boy was delivered. Wants to help you. Wants to help me. Say help me. Say help me. The Holy Spirit is a helper. Help me. Help me. Lord, I believe. I believe that you're able. Help me with that understanding. Help me with this thing that I have believed all these years. Help me with this thing that I've been taught all these years. Help me to overcome the unbelief in my mind. So that my faith will be pure. Because when my faith is pure, all things are possible. I uh, want you to pray for one more minute. I don't, know. I don't know the impossible situation you have in your life. The impossible conditions. I tell you, God can turn things around. Say, I'm the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me?
Jesus told him, yes, am Do not be overcome with fear. Only be. Let it be your message today. Only be. Don't be overcome by the fear. Only be. I believe that this message has taken somebody very many years in front. Ninjeza ngo ejenjiri yatwaro kutemiaka nijo bisho